determination and waiting on the Lord. And then you have to be resourceful. Mm -hmm. Resourceful. You have to be able to find a way. Because God will give you wisdom and understanding. Yeah. Ain't God all right? Yeah. One thing these young men, and I, and, and I can tell you, they got to the door. Ain't God all right? First of all, they wasn't supposed to come in there. Yeah. Because the Bible says there were Pharisees and scribes. Yeah. That they came from everywhere. Yeah. And as I was doing some research, it says there was 600 of them. And the Bible said they came from Judea. They must have all been there because the Bible makes it clear that they came from all over. Yeah. And I'm saying, first of all, what kind of house was this yeah. that can hold more than 600 people? Yeah. They must have been jammed at the door. Yeah. And Jesus was in the midst yeah. of them. Yeah. Yeah. And these men heard that Jesus was there. Yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah. Can you imagine? imagination. They got to the door and people was pushing out the door. Yeah. When they went around to the windows, they had people standing in the window. Yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah. How am I going to get there? Yeah. Ain't God all right? Yeah. Wisdom and understanding. And let me tell you, you can't do it by yourself. Yeah. There was four of them. Help me out. Yeah. One of them said, we can't get in the house. Yeah. Ain't God that always a naysayer. Yeah. Tell us, well, we might as well go home. And the poor man laid on the mat. I want you to notice he didn't say anything. Hallelujah. Then the other one said, wait a minute. We got to get in there because that's our friend. Hallelujah. He comes and they say, but we can't get in. We can't do that. It's not time to help me somebody. There's too many people there. Hallelujah. And here comes. Number three, he said, I heard, come on, Lord, I heard that this man, Jesus, can heal anybody. Ain't God all right? That's the preacher in the game. Hallelujah. He said, I heard, ain't God all right, how he healed somebody. Jesus. He said, I heard when you walk into town one day, and God, all right, there was a widow who had lost her only son. And God, all right, she had obstacle, y'all, because she couldn't work, and her husband was gone, and that was her only source of support. And God, all right, but I want you to read carefully, y'all. The Bible says what he said. So he was a little boy, but God is good, y'all. God had already planned his future to take care of his mama, but God is good. He said, I heard that when he got to the funeral, ain't God all right? He stopped. Come on, y'all. But one thing Paul preached, back yourself up. He looked at the crowd, and he looked at the woman, and he felt sorry for her. And God already had power. Power. He touched the coffin. And God already had. I want you to notice something. When he touched the coffin, the boy didn't get healed. The boy didn't wake up. But the, the pallbearers stopped in their track.